Hello, my people. It's so good to be back here again. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you. Thank for your love and your support. And right here, you know, we're here to give you the best, the most trending, exciting, reliable, and authentic happenings in Nigeria and many more, especially in the area of politics. So, guys, we expect that you stay tuned, help us share, like our videos, and subscribe if you haven't. And if you're passing here for the first time, please ensure you hit the subscribe button. And guess what? President Buhari is in deep shit because recently a lot and a lot of these terrorists have been making a lot of claims that the government is aware about their existence and know exactly where they are, that they have negotiated, but the government is not keeping its own part of the agreement. That is why they keep uh, terrorizing Nigerians and killing Nigerians. Anyway, but those are from the terrorist group. And this time around, it is from the Fulani headsmen. Guess what they said? You'll be so shocked as to what the president has really been doing with the lives of Nigeria. I'm so, so unpleased right now because the president seemed to forget that he swore an oath of office when he got into office that he would vow to protect the lives and properties of Nigerians. But he has not done. Rather, he has he has actually uh, betrayed the, those those oaths. He has betrayed Nigerians and he has not kept his own path of that very vow that he made. Anyway, let us get into the details of this report. Just like the Fulanese have exposed the president. Well, more of this will come to you. But please ensure that you give us a thumbs up and also like this video and also help us share. All right, guys, without wasting much of your time right here, uh, let us get into the details. Yes, the say is that I'm not afraid to say the truth. We sat with our cars and government came to give us guns. Yes, that is uh, that was a full annie who was speaking. Anyway, the situation of things in the country is getting many peace-loving Nigerians perturbed as it seems things do not seem to be getting better at the moment. Although the federal and state governments are working tirelessly to ensure that things get back to normal soon, their efforts have our, our their efforts have however yielded little positive results many nigerians have however continued to lament over the level of insecurity in the country at the moment they are suggesting that state policing be introduced to put an end to this menace although this has continued to occupy national debate for months now a video making rounds at the moment seemed to have diverted the attention of many Nigerians elsewhere. Presently, a video is making waves on social media. This video shows a repentant Fulani headsman confessing in public. As was heard from the video, the young man revealed that they did not ask for guns, rather, it was given to them by powers above them. The said man spoke in his local house language. He, he, here is what he said. He said, I swear to the Almighty God, the government is the one arming us. We Fulanese don't know guns. We only know cows and how to rear cows. Cows don't give birth to guns. I swear to God, we just sat down and were given AK-47 by, by the government. I am not afraid to say the truth, he said. This uh, video actually attracted much attention so far. As many Nigerians are reaching to it, the majority thinks that this is needed is indeed a strong revelation. They, however, asked those around him to protect him from bad men. There were few others who think differently. This category of people reason that this is indeed a sad moment in the country. The reason that those re sponsoring insurgents in the country should be fished out really soon. Yes, that has been the cry of many Nigerians that those in government that has been sponsoring terrorism, banditry, and the likes, the government can get to them. I think the government is just not responsible enough because they are the ones involved. So who really is the government? Because our government is so corrupt to the extent that they are the ones causing all of these uh, 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 deaths and uh, kidnapping happening in the country. So it is difficult for them to not fight against uh, what they have created. Imagine what this Fulani headman is saying now, that they just sat on their own. Because I remember way back then, 
how these guys were the best set of people if you needed anybody to work for you the full at least you can be rest assured even the houses those rearing cows they were the best they were so sincere you know they move about back then even as a little girl back then i could remember that uh while they are passing we just scream their names and you know we we joke around with them and all of that there were no bad reports about these guys i just wonder that all of a sudden they became something else you can hardly hear those times that an house or a fulani man rapes a little girl uh you know but now it's so rampant they even kill they even go about killing people in their own houses that is how bad and because they have become powerful that is why they believe they can do all of that imagine him saying all they know is about cows they go about grazing their cows that is all that is in their head they do not think more than that so but they sat on their own when government came to introduce them into crime and gave them guns and our government those that are responsible in it cannot fish out those who has been causing all of these uh, uh bedeviling stuffs in the country all of this has to really stop because if Mr. A is saying he does not know in government what is going on, there are some that should be able to fish out these guys. Nobody is invisible. Like what Prime Minister Odile said yesterday, he said Boko Haram sect is not spiritual. And that is what I normally say. These guys are not invisible. They are visible. So why are we finding it really difficult to fish them out from where they are? But because the government is you know very responsible they feel that okay it is part of nigeria it, it has become a very huge business it is now an industry in nigeria banditry and kidnapping is now a very booming industry in the country today that they see it as something that will fetch very good resources to the country and the worst of it all is that it is their own citizens that they are kidnapping and killing which has made everything worse and even bad now one has confessed another will come out to confess and before you know it all of them will say yes we need amnesty because it wasn't our fault it was the government that gave us arms that is why we are doing all of this we never knew about all of this this is where all of this is heading towards and it should not be encouraged enough of banditry enough of kidnapping these guys are not uh, 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 invisible they are visible guys they are not in the spiritual realm they are in the physical so why can't we deal with all of this once and for all and now this guy is in big trouble for coming out to convert or it could even be part of their plans if they can give themselves up to sacrifice themselves to be blown up so why can't they give up themselves it could just be a ploy to say okay you go out and tell them that the government are the ones who is uh, you know doing this and doing that and it could just be a sacrificial lamb there's nothing these guys cannot do but well guys that is it from here i just hope what do you have to say do you think the government is involved or you think this is just a ploy to drag the government in please drop it in the comment section and tell us what you think thank you guys for being here do have a pleasant time bye for now